and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Amy boucher Pai, and I called today's reading God's Embassy. Ludmila, a widow aged 82, has declared her home in the Czech Republic an embassy of the Kingdom of Heaven, saying, My home is an extension of Christ's kingdom. She welcomes strangers and friends who are hurting and in need with loving hospitality, sometimes providing food and a place to sleep, always with a compassionate and prayerful spirit. Relying on the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to help her care for her visitors, she delights in the ways God answers their prayers. Ludmila serves Jesus through opening her home and heart, in contrast to the prominent religious leader at whose home Jesus ate one Sabbath. In Luke chapter 14, Jesus told this teacher of the law that he should welcome the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind to his home, and not those who could repay him. While Jesus' remarks imply that the Pharisee hosted Jesus out of pride, Ludmila, so many years later, invites people to her home so that she can be an instrument of God's love and His wisdom. Serving others with humility is one way we can be representatives of the kingdom of heaven, as Ludmila says. Whether or not we can provide a bed for strangers, we can put the needs of others before our own in different and creative ways. How will we extend God's kingdom in our part of the world today? Today's scripture reading is from Luke chapter 14, verses 7 through 14. When he noticed how the guests picked the places of honor at the table, he told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honor, for a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both of you will come and say to you, Give this person your seat. Then, humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he will say to you, Friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honored in the presence of all the other guests. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Then Jesus said to his host, When you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, your relatives or your rich neighbors. If you do, they may invite you back and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Let's pray together. Loving Jesus, thank you for looking out for those who are in need. Help us to be more like you, that we would care for others, showing them your love. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for listening. I'm Amy boucher Pie, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.